that evaluation, you may conclude that it is emanating from my back and, you know, that's really where my problem exists. Is that probably correct too? Yeah, that is one of the possibilities that this is coming from your back. And then, then my question is, okay, well, why have you not responded to the other therapies? What is being missed in those other therapies or in the other diagnostic workups or approaches that is resulting in you still having these symptoms? It is also possible that depending on the length of time and the severity of nerve compression in the past, that this might just be something that may just be extremely, extremely hard for the nerve to heal. Because we, again, we can have the more severe injuries where, you know, it could just take years and years, even after, you know, doing something like a bone marrow or an adipose tissue transfer procedure, where we're actually getting mesenchymal progenitor cells into that area, it may still take a really long time because nerves can take a very long time to heal. So that's one of the other possibilities is that the compression in the past was just so severe that part of that nerve that supplies that sensory innervation and how you feel is really damaged and it may or may not come back and it, it may be something permanent. You know, we have to make sure that we consider all ends of the spectrum. The one end of the spectrum is that we can reverse this and the other end of the spectrum is that this is so severe that, that we won't be able to do anything about it. Even if we try, we still might not see any benefits in the same way that you tried surgery and at least as of this time point, you haven't seen any benefits.